Yeah. Max Mosley's um, orgy. Oh. I like to say, we're doing, we're doing S and M. He said it's perfectly harmless. So if that's the case, he wants to get his money back. Sorry. <laughs> well, they might not be, but they could be Nazi-themed sex orgies. He's denying it. He's denying it yeah. vehemently. He's saying we were just doing a bit of S and M, and obviously it was in the papers one day. And he said this hasn't been in the papers long enough. I'm going to take them to court. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I hope at some point someone in court says this wasn't just any sex. This was S and M sex. <laughs> I like the idea that he said, Max Mosley said he'd been doing this for 45 years. Madam boy. 45 years, he said, and his wife didn't know. And I like the idea of him coming home. How does he explain that his yeah. arse looks like a grilled panini? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I fell on the barbecue at work yeah. again. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Duncan, have you ever tried the S&M thing? I, I haven't. I didn't actually know what S&M meant till the other day. Such a lie. Serbia and Montenegro. Would you say <laughs> not? <laughs> uh, food. Food. Gordon Brown has mm. said uh, that we're wasting too much food. This is about three weeks after he said we're all getting fat. Now he's changed his mind. Now he's saying we're wasting too much food. And, you know, of all the problems he's got, he's obviously become Prime Minister and gone, oh, what should I fix first? Uh, global terrorism, knife crime. Oh, no, you've thrown them bananas out. They've still got a bit of yellow on them. <laughs> Mental. What you should do, if you don't want to waste food, just do what I do. I just buy Parmesan. Never goes off. <laughs> Even if it, you can put it on a rooftop in Nairobi. That's it won't go off. <laughs> you know, it gets me right. I read in the paper this week that we waste a billion pounds in food every year, right? Mm. Now, which sounds scary, doesn't it, right? But I've worked it out, right? That if you think, how many, how many zeros is in a billion? That's nine zeros, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A billion pound, right? How many is there of us? F Fifty-six million, right? One, two, three, four, Hang five, on. six. That's a million, right? Yeah. yeah. So we waste twice, 56. 17 pound 85 a year, right? So boobless. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> not doing it properly, right? <laughs> so I worked it out. Per person, per day, we waste four pence a day. I couldn't give a flying monkeys to the other. <laughs> Jason, there's certain people that upset that balance. I buy champagne and like chase homeless people. <laughs> Thanks for backing me up, Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a nightmare. I go shopping and I do my, my go around. I love it. I love going shopping around with my little trolley, around Sainsbury's. <laughs> I do. And I love the little two for one deals you get. <laughs> Put them in. <laughs> but do you bring? Do you tend to bring a couple of friends with you to do exactly the same no. moves? <laughs> Baby oh, man. Yeah. Baby, oh, yeah. The man had a baby. Where did it come out? Where did it come out? Yes, I, mean, I know where came out of it. Well, he's got a man's vagina. Did it? Yeah. He's got man a mangina. <laughs> it's called a manny or a munt. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is, yeah. Well, what actually he, classifies what it? Because he's got a womb, but not a. He's got a womb, but yeah. he's been living as a man for 20 years. If you need a solicitor to back up your argument that you're a man, yeah. you're not a man. <laughs> <are you>? <laughs> <laughs> Technically, he's not a man until he can parallel park, piss standing up, and walk past a shoe shop without popping in. So I don't know. We've got a picture of him. What, he he what? looks like an inflated George Michael. <laughs> <laughs> We've got another picture of him. We've got another picture of him. There he is. <laughs> bishops or something, isn't it? Female bishops, and there's been a big hoo ha about it because uh, they were saying we should get promoted. And let's be honest, there's only so far you can go within the church. If you go vicar, bishop, archbishop, you're never going to get the top job, are you? That's God, isn't it? There's no. Uh... <laughs> and he's put his son in, hasn't he? Nepotism. I... Yes, That's why exactly, I hate yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't it be brilliant at being priest? Because, like, confession is essentially gossip, isn't it? You know what I mean? Like, it's been two weeks since my last confession. Is it? Go on, tell us some more. <laughs> I slept with a neighbour, have ya? No way. 78% of people think they're not posh enough to go to the opera. True or false? Where I live, 78% of people are not posh enough to go in a local spa. So... <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a true stat. A lot of people know they're vermin. A lot of people... <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people in this country, they, they Sorry, look themselves Mr. in the mirror and they say, do you know what, I'm vermin. <laughs> a lot of people know they're vermin. Yeah. And I'd say, I'm, I can't go to the opera, I am vermin. Well, I'm vermin and I've been to the opera. Were you selling choc ice? My wife's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went to see Darren Brown, actually. Not really opera, though, is it? He does a big finish. Like, but he, um, no, it's weird, cos my mum got called up on stage and she always thought... She was like, oh, I don't feel posh enough to go to the theatre. And to be fair, you're not. 
right? But <laughs> we went, we went to the, uh, we went anyway, right? And um, and it's like she got called up on stage by Darren, and uh, he went right sleep. Eventually went to sleep, but she had to slap him in the face to do this trick. But she didn't want to slap him in the face because she's a nice woman. And a bloke at the back of the room just went. Fucking okay, hit him, love! Hit him! <laughs> Smack him out! And Darren Brown turned around with a, like, with a second gap. He just went, you do that again, and I'll make you wet the bed for the rest of your life. <laughs> and I thought, I reckon that night the bloke went home and his wife went, do you want a cup of tea before bed? And he went, do you know what, I'm going to leave it, to be honest. So... <laughs> Biggest turn-off for women? Me. <laughs> Men with tails. It's not called a tail, is it? It's called a penis grower. He's a dragon. <laughs> I think, you know, often, you know, men can make a mistake by uh, using... Like, if you go around to a girl's house, you use her toilet, it can spoil things, can't it? The best you do is say you're going to the toilet, but don't use it. And then come out and just go... <laughs> well, like, you've got a really just, fresh... I'm just going to... I need to actually go up... <laughs> so you go in there, you don't have one, and then you come out, and then later yeah. she goes, wow, he's so fragrant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was in a bar once, and they were doing speed dating downstairs, and I popped down to the, the toilet, I had to go through the speed dating thing, and obviously, press the bell, you've got three minutes, bing, and then you're done, right? And as I was walking past this table, I heard the bloke, uh, he went, uh, yeah, and so anyway, when I got there, uh, they were already dead. <laughs> went, three minutes. Ping, and I was like, you've got three minutes. Don't tell them about your dead friend story. <laughs> yeah, so what I do is, is I slice anyone? their beaks off, cut their feet off, <laughs> and feed them as much until they die. Ping! <laughs> That's farming, really. <laughs> <laughs> I inject their eyeballs with special fluid to make them grow faster. <laughs> Ping! <laughs> I can eat you. I know how to cut you up and eat you. <laughs> I would say in about 20 minutes, because I'm a trained boner. A boner works. <laughs> to the slaughterhouse. <laughs> Takes the bones out of an animal and I can size you up like a pig or a cow and just strip the bones out of you and you'll be jointed and ready for sale in within <laughs> 20, 25 minutes, cos that's what a boner does. Bing! <laughs> <laughs> it's something that the woman will probably see if you went swimming. Is it having a pair of speedos but the S's have come off? <laughs> Is it really, like, hairy? You're really hairy? Really it's hairy. Specific hairy area? Hairy, hairy back. back. That's the right yeah. answer. Yeah. Hairy back. <laughs> Yes, the biggest turn-off for women is a hairy back. I was going to shave my back and then I thought, pluck it. <laughs> OK, next one. Biggest celebrity polluter. Oh. Is it the Transformers? <laughs> they would be pretty, cos they're a car and they're carbon a robot and they're, that's two carbon nice footprints. I know. Doctor Who. Your world's brilliant, isn't it, don't you? <laughs> what? He He's... has a TARDIS, he turns up and he flies around the galaxy. What fuels on the TARDIS? Yeah. Nothing, because it's not real. <laughs> Whereas the Transformers are real. <laughs> is it Simon Cowell? Yes, it is. He's all, yes. Simon Cowell. Simon Cowell. Simon Cowell. Yeah. Yeah, the biggest celebrity polluter is Simon Cowell. However, it's Louis Walsh that's responsible for the hole in the boy's own lair. 